Hi, welcome to At Home with Madeline Lee. Today I'm going to be making Swedish bread. This bread is the most favourite, favourite bread of mine ever. I've had it since I was a little girl. It was my more and more's recipe, and more and more it was my grandmother in Sweden. And I'm now going to share it with you. I'm doing the whole smorgasbord board for my Christmas series, and this is the first thing I'm making. So what you're going to need is I'm fortunate enough to have this flour here, which is actually mixed, it's rye and plain. But I don't know if you can get this in England, it comes from Sweden, but you can get obviously separate rye and separate white. So you can just mix half and half, then you need 50 grams of butter, 50 grams of fresh yeast I'm using, but you can use dry yeast as well, and some salt and fennel. Oh, I love fennel. Fennel in bread is absolutely delicious. They use that a lot in Sweden. Now here comes the naughty bit. Here we are. We've got this lovely syrup. It's from Sweden again. And I really don't have this unless it's Christmas, but it needs that and makes it extra, extra, extra special and extra, extra naughty. And if it's Christmas, then why can't we be naughty? And the smuggler's board is very naughty. So we've got this, and as you can see, I've got my Tomter back out again. Here's my kitchen Tomter that I have out. He's been the first decoration to come and the last decoration to go. He might stay with me till spring even, it depends when it gets sunny. And then I have this lovely little old fashioned Tomter. And if any of you have seen my husband, you all know it's like a little miniature version of my husband who does look like a Tomter, which is a Father Christmas in England. And I wake up with Father Christmas every morning, aren't I? Lucky girl. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to melt our 50 grams of butter. You don't want it to boil and you want it just to stay room temperature. And then you're going to add the yeast and you're going to add the salt. And of course you need um, just under a pint of milk, just use normal milk. Right, so I melted my butter and, um, and then I put my milk in and now it's room temperature and I'm going to pour it into the bowl. And now I'm going to slowly mix my yeast, just so it melts into the butter and the milk. And of course, as I said earlier, you can actually use, don't have to use fresh, but I prefer to do it properly. Yeast from Sweden. This is so bad for me, <laughs> for most of us really, but it's so good. So, well, about four teaspoons, but I use a lot more than that. I'm sure my more and more did as well. So here you've got, and you've got your salt in here. And before I add the flour, I'm going to add the syrup in. And look at this. And that's so naughty. Naughty on the hips. Oh, come on, you naughty syrup. Out, out, out. There you are. Look at that. It's going to be so yummy. And now I'm going to slowly start bringing in my flour, which is the 750 um, grams. And this is now just... Just stirring it in first with a wooden spoon and you're eventually going to make it into a dough. Okay, so I've just made it into a dough, but I've not kneaded it too much. It's in quite a light dough. You don't want to knead it too much because it gets a little bit porous. So don't worry about that. Just cover it with a little sprinkling of flour and, of course, a Swedish Christmas tablecloth, good yule, and put it somewhere by a fire or a radiator or somewhere like that just to rise for 40 minutes. So, I should be back with my Thompson's in 40 minutes. Okay, so I've left it by the fire. Cake it off, ah, and look at the size of that. That has doubled in its size, and now what I'm going to do is make it into lovely Swedish buns. So we're gonna put the flour on the cutting board. Shake, shake, shakey, shakey, happy Christmas to you. And, my hands of course, Pick up this lovely piece of dough. Okay, oh, look at that. Yum, a little bit sticky. Cut it into four. And we're going to make these lovely bun shapes with a hole in the middle. Here we are, rolling it into its position. It's gonna be so nice, look at all that fennel, all that yummy syrup. Well, that's what we need to do, just a round circle, and then, of course, I'll use nothing less than the golden goblet for the hole. And these, what comes out of here, you see, you can make into little buns as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my fork, and I'm going to pierce it. And that, that 
can be like a little mini bun. Once it comes out of the oven, you're going to want to just smell so good, you're going to want to eat it all, so you can just eat all the buns. So I'm going to make four of these, and I'm going to let them rise for half an hour. Voila! Here's one of them. So as you can see, it's risen nicely. I'm just going to use a little bit of egg yolk, just to give it a little glaze on top we put it in the oven and they're only going in the oven for 10 minutes you just want them to go golden I'd put them one at a time if I was you just to make sure that you get it really even rather than trying to cram them all in it's time consuming but it's worth it anyway that's what my more and more used and here's a little bun that I'm going to be eating and here's a bun that my father Christmas is going to be eating <sighs> I'm seven I'm back I'm back in Sweden as a little girl and my mum has got her lovely apron on and she's just made me fresh bread. It's amazing how smells and um, music can take you right back. Anyway, here we are. Look at it. Beautiful. And it's meant to be flat. It's like this um, with the hole there so you can hang it up above your head when you're about to cook. Beautiful. I'm going to dive in but now I'm going to introduce you to a very, very special guest of mine. <laughs> Look who came over and she's looking after me because you know I've had a rough few weeks and she's looking after me and she's been amazing and cooking and she's the best cook I know and she's just got her vegetarian wonderful book out. You can buy it in January. Here it is. Look, it's got the most gorgeous recipes and all of you, by the time you've eaten all this crazy stuff over Christmas, unless you're being really good like Hannah is, but she's not being that good because she's eating this bread. <laughs> How can I not eat the bread when it smells so good? Uh. She's just been traveling everywhere and um, so we're going to be feasting on this but in the new year it comes out in January I really recommend buying it because it's got the most delicious wonderful recipes in it does say it is for skin problems but it's also for the whole inner feeling of health and when I went on her diet I felt really well so I am going back on it in January <laughs> so I just want to say thank you and we're now going to be really naughty though, aren't we? Yes, I'm going to have to. I can't not. <laughs> and this has got bread with none of the naughty things that I've just used. So you can have a guilt-free new year, 2017. So it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the darling Hannah.